Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric, and I'm in the process. One of my many projects that are going on right now is I'm building a filament extruder for uh, my 3D printer, uh, the Lehman Muller uh, filament extruder. Looks a really cool project and should be allowing me to uh, recycle some of that weep sauce that would otherwise uh, get tossed out. One of the things that it calls for, though, is for an extruder screw. And the original one, he's got a slightly modified one now, but the original one calls for using an auger bit from a place like uh, Home Depot or something like that. Issue with that, it's fairly expensive. I looked at pricing them and I'm looking at about $45 before tax. So not a cheap piece of kit. Instead what I've done on a number of occasions when I needed specialty augers, uh, is mill one out on the milling machine. So I've got a really simple, easily built uh, attachment here. It's not super awesome, it's not industrial quality, but it gets the job done and it was easy to put together in a couple hours. Uses the, the milling machine to turn something out, save a lot of money, and leverages the change gears off of my uh, metal lathe, my Harbor Freight metal lathe. So let me reposition the camera and I'll show you how it's assembled and then we'll show you how uh, it works. Okay, so this is a fairly simple uh, piece of kit all told. What we got here is the base is a piece of 3 8 inch uh, steel and uh, that was just flame cut from uh, some other scrap that I had lying around. What we've got here, now it's bolted down to uh, our bed. We've got our T-nuts under here and uh, these are our bolts down through, hold it in place. And at this far end we've got uh, an oak pillow block uh, that I've built up. Works fairly easy, just works to support this uh, drive a little bit more firmly so there's not any bounce or wobble and it's clamped to uh, the bed. Now the reason that there was uh, this underlying uh, uh, piece of steel is because I wanted it to overhang so that I could accommodate my uh, drive arrangement and have it fairly well fixed. On the plate itself, other than those T-nuts attachments, you've got a couple pillow blocks um, and those allow you to have a little bit of room to uh, maneuver and adjust things and you can see there's a couple other holes that were tapped for this one when I was working on a bit of a smaller project. Uh, you can see my reducer is just a piece of uh, the two inch pipe, scrap pipe that I found. On this side this is a solid piece right from uh, our keyed uh, section for our change gear from my uh, my Harbor Freight uh, lathe 9 by uh, 20 lathe. So that's cut down and then uh, milled in a slot for the key and uh, there's a bolt that holds it at the end. Goes through and this is just a piece of uh, pipe that's welded. You can hear, see here the weld and then it's got a couple holes depending on where you want to put it. So what I did was slip a little piece of collar over the underlying 5 8 inch pipe or 5 8 inch uh, uh, rod that I have here and uh, to allow it to fit nice and tight then slipped it in and drilled it out and then pinned it with uh, this screw attachment. Our banjos here uh, it's got uh, down into uh, a bolt going down into one of the T-nuts a couple pieces of scrap uh, pipe that uh, hold it together and another uh, T-nut uh, clamp holding it in place. The far end, we've got a slot here that allows it to slide. We've got uh, a brass rotatable bushing. You can see that I can move this around. Now here we've got down here our, uh, where our handle would normally go. Ooh, that hurts. Um, we've got uh, our attachment here. Again, turned, drilled, something like this. Here's another one that I'm using for a power drive. 
So board to uh, accommodate, slide it on, milled out, and then uh, got a bolt to hold it in place. So pretty easy. Uh, here, this is our uh, brass one on the center here on the banjo. And there's one key that fits all the way through. So these two gears will turn in unison. And so we get our uh, gear reduction. And then this one controls uh, the drive right through here. So fairly simple, fairly easy. Uh, and sure beats spending uh, 50 bucks. So uh, an easy little piece of kit for you to work together. If you want more pictures, go to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. Uh, the link is in the show notes below, and I'll show you some of uh, the setting up and then uh, the milling.